Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'm sorry I didn't post anything last week but I was actually very sick but I'm all better now so here we are. But before we get into today's video make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram and those are linked down below and let's get into the video. 80% of your rabbit's diet should be solely hay. Hay is a great high fiber source that helps keep your bunny's GI tract moving and to help prevent GI stasis. Hay also helps maintain proper dental health in your rabbit as chewing down on hay helps wear down their teeth. It's also very important to offer a variety of different hays to your bunny. Offering a variety of different hays will both appeal to your rabbit and also make sure they are getting a variety of different vitamins and minerals. One thing to keep in mind is that when introducing a new hay, they should be introduced slowly. There's five main different types of hay. Alfalfa, Timothy hay, orchard grass, oat hay, and meadow hay. We're gonna start off by talking about Timothy hay. Timothy hay is known to be the most popular rabbit hay. It actually comes in three different cuts. The first cut is stiff and really high in fiber and has more flower heads than all the other cuts. The second cut is known to be more standard. It's in between the first and third cut in relation to stiffness and softness and also in relation to fiber and protein content. The third cut is the most soft and has less fiber and more protein. Timothy hay can be offered unlimited to any bun of any age. It's known to be very high in fiber and low in protein. Moving on to alfalfa. Alfalfa is technically not a hay or a grass, but actually a legume. Alfalfa has very high protein and calcium levels compared to other hays. Due to these high levels, large amounts of alfalfa can actually lead to obesity in adults but alfalfa is safe for adults if given in small amounts. Alfalfa should be given unlimited to young rabbits under six months of age and is great for young rabbits under one year of age. Alfalfa is also great for rabbits who have just went through surgery, are sick, or are underweight. Now on to orchard grass. Orchard grass is the second most popular rabbit hay. It's high in fiber and low in protein and can be offered unlimited to any bun of any age. It's a nice soft hay with long strands with no seed heads like Timothy or oat. It has a sweet smell and taste. And since it's a grass, it's a great alternative for bunny owners that are allergic to hay. Now let's talk about oat hay. Oat hay is actually harvested right before the oat head develops into seed. This hay is really high in fiber and low in protein and is very stiff. Due to its stiffness, rabbits usually are more picky about this hay. Last but not least, let's talk about meadow hay. Meadow hay actually consists of several different types of grasses found in a meadow. Due to this level of variation, don't feed unlimited to your bunny unless the levels are specifically marked on the bag or your farmer can verify what the exact protein and calcium levels are. Now that we have talked about all the different types of rabbit hays, let's talk about where to purchase these hays. When purchasing hay, there's really only two options. You can purchase from a pet store or a farm. When purchasing from a pet store, there's really only three brands that I would recommend. Small Pet Select, Oxbow, and Katie. Small Pet Select seems to have the highest quality, but it does come with a price. Oxbow is a great, cheaper option with almost the same quality. Katie is another good option, but seems to be on the lower end of quality. Additionally, when you are buying hay from Katie, you need to be aware of some of their hays that include extra ingredients. They have hays with carrots, cranberries, mint, mangoes, etc. And these hays need to be treated like a treat. These added ingredients have a lot of extra sugar and extra sugar needs to be limited when it comes to a bunny. Now purchasing hay from a farm is by far the cheapest option. When purchasing from a farm, you need to watch out for brown and dusty hays. 
you want to avoid this and really find a nice high quality green hay. And you also need to make sure that this hay has not been treated with pesticides or herbicides as these will be very harmful for your bunny. After you purchase your hay and bring it home, make sure to store it in a nice dry and cool place. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Make sure you leave us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And remember, live life to the fullest.